Hello, sixth graders again. Here is Mrs. Aza, and we are in the second lesson in our second unit in uh, our book. Um, today we're going to talk about the uh, food chains. But first, let's remember what did we talk about last time. We did talk about um, the feeding relationship in local habitats. Local habitats are the home or a place where living things live together and they depend on each other of food. This uh, relation, this feeding relationship between them is called food chain. Food chain. The food chain is a feeding relationship between the living things. We depict this uh, food chain um, with the names of uh, the animals or living things between them and arrow. And this arrow means uh, that this is eaten or uh, the living thing A is eaten by the living things, uh, the living thing B. Okay. Uh, I hope you remember that and I hope that you did your activity book. Today's lesson is a um, continuing, or we we'll keep talking about, uh, never mind about this book, okay? Uh, we we'll keep talking about the food chains, and one of the fairest or the very important uh, rules that we have to follow is that the food chain should start with a plant. The food chain, food chain begins with a plant. The food chain should start or should begin with a plant. Then why Ms. has uh, the food chain should start with a plant? Because only plants can make their own food. We said that living things are humans, animals and plants. Only from these living things, plants only can make their own food. We depend on them. We either eat plants, either eat uh, sorry, animals either eat plants or another animal that eat plants. And we are as humans, either we eat plants or eat an animal that eats plants. So plants are a very unique or special living thing that can make its own food, its own food. And also, um, for sure, we need this food to get energy or to have energy to read to walk to sleep to move to study to do anything we need this energy and this energy we can take it from the food so we need uh we have to to to, to take this energy uh and this energy passes in the food chain from the plant then the, the animals or the living things that eat this this plant so that's why plants should start or should begin the food chain because they are the only uh, living things that make their own food. And because of that, uh, or uh, because of they are the only things that are making their their food, let's look at this diagram of the of making food. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the plant. It needs the sunlight from the sun, water, nutrients, and carbon dioxide. Those are the things are needed from uh, the environment or from the local habitat uh, to make their own food. We need sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and the nutrients from the soil. Those are called the factors. Factors are the things are needed by the plant to make its own food. Light energy, water, carbon dioxide, and nutrients. All of these factors will help the plant to make its own food with a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photo synthesis photosynthesis the photosynthesis is the process that the plant makes its own food using the sunlight and the other factors so this is how the plant makes its own food that's why the plant should begin the food chain and because it's the only living thing that makes food we call it a producer a producer a 
producer. The producer is uh, the thing that makes something. So plants, because they are making their food, they are producers. And other animals or other living things that eat them or consume them are called consumers. Are called consumers. Are called consumers. Yes, consumers are the living things that eat or depend on plant for food. Okay, so today we have very important points that the food chain should start with a plant because the plants are the only living things that make their own food. Because of that, we call them producers and any other living thing that eat them is called consumer. Okay, the process that plants make food using the factors of sunlight, nutrients, water and carbon dioxide is called photosynthesis. Is called photosynthesis that's very good and this photosynthesis uh, the plant using these uh, factors to make its food to to store energy in its leaves or in its roots or in its different part as sugar photosynthesis the plant store sugar in its part and release oxygen as a waste and this oxygen which we need to to breathe excellent yes to breathe so one of uh, the waste of the plant we need it to breathe and the sugar that is stored in its uh, parts we need it to get energy and we use it as as food excellent and in your book page uh, 24 these are the examples of the last lesson. These are the examples of the last lesson. In this first picture, the corn is a plant. So it is the producer. It is eaten by the chicken, which this chicken is a consumer. This chicken is a consumer. And if there is a human being that eat this um, chicken, will be a consumer as well. So the producer in this picture is the corn, the consumer is the chicken. Now, what do you think about this picture? Where is the producer and where is the consumer? Remember that the producer should be a plant. And all food chains should start with a plant. All food chains should start with a plant. That is um, our lesson for today we have to know that all food chains should start with a plant never 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 start a food chain with an animal okay all food chains start with a plant because we are producing food because they are the only living thing that makes um food using the four factors they store the sugar as energy in their part and release the oxygen as a waste um, uh, they are called producers because they are producing their food and other animals that depend on them uh, for food are called consumers. This is our lesson today. You're going to find it on page 24 and 25. And for sure, you have to do your learner's book, page 17 and 18. 17 and 18. Wish to see you soon. Thank you.